So this winter's project, I need to replace the cutlass seal and service the PSS seal. New boot and clamps for the PSS seal and uh, billows, whatever they call them. And the cutlass. It's been 13 years since I had the engine out and installed these items. And it's time to do it again. First, I'm taking off the cotter pin and these nuts. We're going to pull her and pull the prop off. And I got to go in through the lazarette, take some of those barrier walls between the engine compartment and the lazarette apart. And uh, remove the fuel tank. I also need to service my exhaust hose. My throttle cable broke this year. Uh, just a few items. This is actually, you can see here, is actually one of the uh, set screws holding the cutlass bearing in place. Could be one on the other side as well. So it looks like the set screws for the cutlass are sticking out on mine. I've never replaced this, by the way. The yard replaced it many years ago these set screws here protruding. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Usually they're buried. They were buried on Sean's. I did do the cutlass on Sean's when he was here this year. And uh, it was a Bristol 35. Uh, most of the setups will be the same. So anyways, I clean the paint off of it. And these look like they'll be pretty easy to get out. Okay, so looking down through the port lazarette here. I've taken the boards out that go here and here to get access to There's my steering in there. This is my tank I'm going to be pulling out. And here, descending gauge unit, filler hose, vent hose, gas hose. It's really not too bad. A couple clamps here. I do have to take this block out, which is part of my steering. I'm going upside down here. So I got a pulley attached to it for my uh, Edson. So uh, this will be the next step is to remove the get fuel tank. So this is me down inside a lazarette. I've got to do it. Plenty of room. Done it a million times. <laughs> PSS rudder shaft seal and uh, there's my throttle cable the, the sheath broke on me on the way back from Block Island this year it's kind of odd the cable didn't break but the outer sheath broke it only took 40 45 49 years for that to break I guess it's and I attached it. It's working fine. <laughs> but I'll consider replacing it while I'm down in here. And again, this is a, this block of wood. Gotta come out of my way to get the tank out. Got the sheave attached to the back of it here. So, I'm gonna be doing that now. So, this is my 49 year old raw water cooled. Sea Scout 91, 25 horsepower, gas, made by Continental. I rebuilt it 12 years ago. I was able to still get parts. She works beautifully. So, again, I'm trying to get the, the uh, replace the, the PSC, PSS seal and the, and the cutlass. And it would be way easier if this engine was out. When I did this last, the engine was out. So I'm going to pull the gas tank. There's a fuel tank right here. Fuel tank here. And uh, I'm going to pull it out. See if I can actually do this work without taking the engine out. But I, uh, I'm having a funny feeling that. It just will be easier to pull the engine out. That way I can replace my hoses in my cockpit here, and the exhaust hose, the vernal lift 
mufflers underneath the tank. That was all an upgrade 12 years ago when I replaced, rebuilt the engine and had to take the exhaust, the original exhaust apart. It was not salvageable. So, uh, but the hoses were, need replacing for the exhaust and I got a lot of work. So, probably just going to pull the engine out. It actually lifts straight out the companion way. I can use the boom. I did this last time. And uh, put a chain fall right down to it. It's actually not too bad. The other thing this boat had was a, had no engine mounts. It was hard mounted. I added engine mounts when I, uh, when I rebuilt it. You can see these down here. They're, uh, uh, I just sprayed it all down with, uh, where is it? WD-40, here it is, right here in the front. Um, I just need to get these bolts off here in the back. The electrical connections, undo the coupling, and uh, should lift straight out. In fact, I still have the, the chain from 12 years ago sitting right here. And I use to lift this puppy. There's a lifting bracket back here. Oops, lifting bracket right, right there. And take out one of the studs in the front here. And that should lift it right out, no problem. That's the general idea of what I'm doing here. Yeah, no problem. Just unplug the boat and take it out. Okay, I actually had to take the fitting off of the pickup and then the hose off of the filler in order to, it was tight fit to get through but it, it did lift out as you can see we're out so it only took me about a half an hour to get that tank out probably took me longer to empty out the last of it than anything again I, I prepared for that to come out so we only had I don't know five gallons of gas in it even that five gallons was not good. All right. So now we're gonna see if we can get the get the plywood out here to hold the tank. And see whether or not we can work the exhaust, take the muffler out, and actually work the. Uh, the PSS seal and the coupling take it all apart without taking the engine out. That would be ideal. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. We'll know soon enough. Alright, well I got that out. About three screws on either side. And there's my vernal lift muffler. Oh, by the way, this PSS seal here for the rudder shaft, uh, there's a cutlass bearing on the top here that was shot. I replaced that cutlass without removing the rudder. The rudder shoe, my uh, rudder is uh, keel mounted. And uh, if anybody is curious on uh, how I did that, I can uh, put a little documentary together for it. Uh, has held up well over the years. So I'm going to take the muffler out. Hopefully that will expose the uh, easier way to get to the PSS seal and the, uh, the coupling to the back of the engine here. Uh, still don't know if I can get my body down inside there. There is more room. <laughs> We've got some more room up here. That's actually insulated the underside of the, uh, the cockpit floor for sound purposes. It worked well. Did that years ago. Spray adhesive. When I did the, uh, the engine rebuild, I did that. So, uh, all kinds of fun. Yeah. I'm going to replace it my splice on my throttle cable right there. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to replace this exhaust tubing while I'm in here. I probably should replace the boot and the uh, and rebuild the uh, PSS seal on the rudder shaft here, but I really don't think it, it's all that critical to my operation. So I'm not going to be concerned about it. I will take a closer look at it to see whether or not we need to. But, uh, what a beauty, huh? Built boat was built in '68. Engine is still going fine. 
the instrument and see if I can get my body down in here. Well, the fuel tank had to come out anyways because you need more room to work over the engine if I have to, if I possibly can. So, all right, so come down. All right, there it is. By the way, that's all three inches of shaft exposed there. So even if I can work it here, I've only got three inches. Once I get the shaft and the coupling undone, push the shaft back in order to get a, a wheel puller on that coupling to get it off. It's hard enough to get off when it's right in front of your face and easy access. I uh, still doubt I'm going to be able to do this without taking the engine out, but we can get fair access in here. And, you know, this, is the, this tube here is the uh, manual whale pump. Get that easily out of my way. I mean, if I could get down there, stand on my head, I'm sure I could work that. I'm just not too sure I can do that. But you know I'm going to try. i got to get that coupling undone at minimum. And the collar for the PSF seal, the set screws have to come out. Two sets of set screws on those, by the way, guys. One set, two, there's four set screws. Two in each hole. One's set, the other one's to lock it in. And I've got two bolts on that coupling going to the shaft. Should be keyed. And I don't know, three or four bolts on the actual coupling. Looks like three bolts on the coupling. I had this off 12 years ago, so with any luck, it will come off without too much, uh, too much difficulty. So, let me see what else I can do here. So after removing the manual pump, gas tank, gas tank shelf, the exhaust system, it does look like I'm able to do this from here. Uh, I can reach it. it. does look like I can reach it. Question is, can I get it apart? Coupling in particular. That's a toughie. So, there it is. Some cleanup to do down here, that's for sure.